Hi everyone, welcome to our Bailekisar YouTube channel. Are you interested in working with the data in the cloud? If yes, in this video, I am going to guide you the step-by-step -step process how to master in Snowflake. So even if you are from scratch, let's get started how to become a Snowflake developer. Okay, so first thing first, what is Snowflake? The Snowflake is a cloud-based data platform where you can store the data, process and analyze the data. It is one of the fast and scalable and works with the multiple major platforms, major cloud platforms like AWS, Azure or GCP. Snowflake is one of the popular data warehouse and uh, uh, analytics purpose we are using in the IT market. Let's start the, our roadmap. The first step is learn the SQL. It stands for Structured Query Language. It is used to interact with the Snowflake. We have to start with the basic concepts like how to select the data and how to uh, filter the data and how to uh, use the joints concept. We have to learn these basic concepts and then move to advanced concepts like uh, Windows function and, uh, and uh, CTE, common table expressions. After completion of uh, SQL concepts, then, then you have to understand the data warehousing concepts data warehousing means it's all about the organizing the data efficiently these are all about the the way of structuring the data so it is easier to query and next step is you have to learn the cloud basics you no need to go in deep in depth knowledge about the cloud technologies but a basic understanding is required because snowflake runs in the cloud so the, so therefore you should understand how it works for each individual cloud platforms. Here basic knowledge means what is the storage and what are the virtual servers, how the data is managed in the cloud. You have to know some basic understanding. Okay. So after gaining some basic knowledge of cloud technology, then you have to move to the snowflake itself. You have to learn the core concepts and advanced concepts of the snowflake technology. After completion of snowflake technology, then you have to learn anyone programming language for uh, automation purpose recommended one python you have to connect the snowflake with the other tools or third party tools for integration purpose we are using python after learning any programming uh, for integration purpose then you have to start with the visualization concepts visualization tools like uh, power bi tableau or looker so learn how to visualize your data using any popular tool like Tableau, Power BI or Looker. You can build the dashboards to run your raw data into insights that everyone can understand. So after learning any visualization tool, then try to complete any certification. So if you are a beginner or a minimum three years or four years of experience candidate, then try to complete Snow Pro, uh, Snow, Snow Pro certification. It's a, it's a basic level certification after gaining some relevant and hands-on experience above five years or six years then try to complete your advanced uh, certification as well like snow pro advanced certification okay so after completion of all these things then try to get some hands-on experience this step is very important guys in this uh, competition world you can get the some hands-on experience by developing or implementing a small project for example, or you can create the data pipeline to load stock market data into the Snowflake. Then build your dashboard to analyze the customer trends. So like this, if you, like this, if you gain some hands-on experience, definitely you land your job in one of the major and popular large companies, guys, with high package. This is all about the, the complete roadmap to become a Snowflake developer. I will tell you briefly. First, you have to start with the SQL, then understand the data warehousing concepts, then understand the cloud computing technology, Next, you have to learn the Snowflake course itself. Next, you have to learn any one programming language, either JavaScript or Python. And then you have to do some. And, and next, try to complete certification, basic certification. And then after completion of all these things, gain some hands-on experience by implementing a small projects. Okay. I hope you found this video is very helpful. So don't forget to subscribe, share and like our videos. Okay. So we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning.